Okay, and fast forward now to a 21st century question. The Chinese are flooding Jamaica and the Caribbean and also Africa. Can you speak to the seeming indifference of Jamaican and Caribbean governments and more troubling African governments to this, to me, unfiltered <coughs> influx mm -hmm. of Chinese nationals who are very nationalistic and they mm -hmm. got their own agenda which mm -hmm. is not really maybe in our best interest as African people in mm -hmm. the Caribbean or Africa. Okay, one of the things that we have to learn, and I speak of Africa in the main because that's, that is really the main terrain of the Chinese in terms of both their investments and their physical presence is that the Chinese have a strategic plan. So Definitely. the question that arises is where and what is Africa's strategic plan? In the absence of a positive answer to that question, they are going to fall by the wayside to the country and the people who have a plan. The same thing applies to the Caribbean. What is our strategic plan? We are in the U.S. hemisphere here, right? Uh, China-U.S. Uh, relations are... The U.S. recognizes that China is their main competitor in 21st century. China is the new world right? power. And China is the new world power. A world power just doesn't come about like that. It comes about by design. Where is our design? So whilst... I agree with the criticism of the Chinese. And Jamaica has, uh, we have fallen prey because they have the money. They're willing to invest the money. Uh, and Jamaica is short of investments. But, but course, we, we man, giving away yeah, your watersheds yeah, exactly, and exactly. land and all of this kind of stuff. Which, which means that Jamaica and Caribbean states have to define what their strategic plan and mission is for the 21st century. But do you think they even recognize the need to do this? I don't think they recognize the need to do this because the political leadership focuses on the next three to four years, an election cycle. You can build a strategic plan on an electoral cycle. Therefore, I think that groups on the ground, I regard the Rastafari as an important NGO, but sometimes <clears throat> it needs prodding to act as an NGO, right? And it underestimates the impact of its voice, right? Definitely. And therefore, the Rastafari and there are a whole range of other civil society groupings that need to take the bull by the horn and um, say Jamaica needs to have a strategic attitude to China. You know, what is it that we want? What is it that we do not want to see happen? We can't afford to have our best properties or watershed be owned not only by Chinese, but by Americans or by Spanish people or by what have you. So there is need for us to, uh, the politicians think short term, think electoral cycle, but the population has to organize itself to prevent that short term vision from taking place. So you mean saying much the same way as how it was popular pressure that forced Caribbean governments to support the anti-apartheid struggle, something similar needs something to be done. Something similar needs to be done with respect to the Chinese and the Spanish and the American pres presence in terms of the huge investors and huge exploiters that have ravaged the Caribbean for centuries. You don't want China to join that group because they, will, they are present there. And it's not only the state, 
is also the private sector brings on Chinese companies yes. to build their buildings. It's taking place in tourism <coughs> with the, uh, I think it's a Butch Stewart uh, hotel project on Lady Musgrave. It's constructed by ZTE. Google ZTE, you'll see who ZTE is. ZTE, who they were banning their phones the other day. Exactly. Right. Um, the, and they're also building the Grace Kennedy Building on Harbor Street. So, and they wanted to do also the government's project, which has come under criticism to put a whole heap of concrete in National Heroes Park, Parliament, and Prime Ministerial Museum. That's also a Chinese project. That's what they are doing. So we do have to be outspoken on these issues by having our strategic plan, knowing that the Chinese have their own strategic They have plans. their own strategic power plan and they are becoming a great power. And that's their that's it's that is not that. contestable, mm -hmm. right? What is our plan? What it's is like our having, design? It's, it's like having the, 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 the OAU building in Ethiopia mm -hmm. run by the Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they built it, which mm -hmm. is one thing, but now to leave it, mm -hmm. the operation of it in their hands mm -hmm. makes no sense. Yeah.